Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining me on the Tier 1 Kinetics YouTube channel. My name is Ben Winner, and I am the team leader here at Tier 1 Kinetics. I'm a former Blackhawk pilot. I deployed 12 times to Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, both as a Blackhawk pilot and then also as a defense contractor for the Air Force. I'm stoked to be able to be here today um, for a lot of different reasons, but uh, I'm able to represent a bunch of really great Utah-based companies. Um, one, of course, is uh, Ready Gunner. Um, so they came out with this really awesome uh, shirt with uh, Dixon flannel that I managed to uh, get someone to hook me up with. Um, another one is Culprit Precision. Um, they made this uh, tribute magazine, which I believe is still available in black and white. Um, so anyways, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. It's uh, Neil, who just uh, recently passed away on a skateboard. Um, anyway, I, that, that hit real close to home with me anyways, because uh, we, we shared a lot of similar um, background and experience. Not exactly the same. He was a little bit more tactical than me and better looking and had a nicer family and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> great dude. Uh, he's missed. And uh, all the proceeds go to... Uh, the Curry family on that. Um, in addition, uh, the person who did the uh, Cerakote or the company um, is Taylor Tech Arms. Um, so uh, this particular model was uh, done in OD Green. Really happy with how that turned out. Uh, Fieldcraft Survival has uh, you know, put a name for themselves in um, the overland and survival space uh, led by Mike Glover good dude. Uh, met him a bunch of different times. Um, trying to be uh, as, as tactically proficient as him, which is going to be a, a really long, lifelong challenge for me, but uh, we'll keep working at it. Um, and then lastly, but not least, is um, Snake Staff Systems. Um, so they actually came from um, Flex Defense, who makes uh, a device called the Raider, which is an awesome a uh, piece of equipment that's a host for a SIG 320 pistol. Anyway, they used uh, similar materials um, to make their new tourniquet systems. And so that's one of the biggest reasons why um, I wanted to do this little bit of a comparison and review for you today, um, is that um, I worked as a combat crisis manager in Afghanistan for for lots of years, like I spent three years in Afghanistan and then another full three years in Iraq, um, three full year deployments in uh, uh, for 2011 through 2016, and then in uh, and then Iraq were uh, shorter deployments, but I did nine of those. But anyways, uh, the golden hour is a real thing. I, um, I, I was a crisis manager. I I, I uh, allocated resources to be able to respond to these combat crisis. Uh, situations. So like an ODA team or a SEAL team gets into a serious shithole situation and, and all of a sudden they need air assets and extractions and medevacs and like uh, intelligence and surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft and armed uh, combat, uh, <laughs> armed combat aircraft that, to be able to provide support to the ground force commander um, when they're in trouble. So uh, there's, a, there's somebody that's uh, sitting on the end of a phone uh, who is tracking all this stuff, various different systems and and then able to uh, produce the type of assets that they need um, on the battlefield in, in, in the quickest way possible. And and one of the biggest reasons why is uh, for life-saving things like the tourniquet. Um, so this is a, a cat tourniquet. Um, it's one I've used for years and years. In fact, I've probably deployed with this in actually Afghanistan. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, standard issue kind of stuff. Um, it's awesome. It's also probably 12... 15 years old now. Um, this is the uh, new tourniquets from Snake Staff Systems. And um, from what uh, little reading I've done on these is that um, they are 65% um, uh, the size of these um, standard size cat tourniquets. Um, and they provide the same webbing surface area, if not a little bit more from you know, someone corrected me earlier on that. <laughs> um, a little bit more, which which basically means the survivability of the limb um, is a lot higher. Um, so, anyway, it's kind of interesting now. So these uh, 
the Snake Staff Systems folks, or Flex Defense folks, have come out with a couple different models of this. And uh, I mistakenly uh, just took this out of the sleeve right away and I cracked um, the little uh, chem light that's already uh, attached and, um, I don't know, embedded into the system, which is kind of a cool idea. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. Like, if, if you're in a non-permissive environment, I think that that might be a little bit of an issue. But, you know, if, if you're kind of like a common dude in civilian, uh, you know, doing some night shoots or, uh, you know, s something like that with your buddies doing goggles, like like we do every once in a while, um, you know, it might be kind of handy to know where that tourniquet is. So like if you need to place a secondary one or whatever, then, um, you know, you can do that pretty quickly. But I guess that's the main point of uh, the video today um, is to really kind of just sort of introduce you to what these uh, uh, snake staff systems tourniquets are um, and to, uh, you know, be, be looking out for them. I think they're still in testing. Um, they might be available to you, but uh, they do have an Instagram page and I'll post a uh, a link to that in the uh, in the description below but anyways that's pretty much it um, thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me for a minute today and hopefully you got something out of this video and if you guys have any questions go ahead and post them in the comments below thanks <laughs>